gonna do it, y'all. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it. Isn't that amazing? I realized that I had a golden opportunity and I was about to squander it if I didn't move very quickly. So, I showed y'all, I guess it was like a few weeks ago, I did a video where I was really excited because of what you just witnessed. Um, being able to pull directly into a parking spot where you can just, you know, leave. Like whenever you're ready to leave, you can just walk it out. You don't have to do this, you know, reverse bullshit. It's annoying too because when you reverse, there's always that chance, especially if you're a female, that you will back into somebody that's coming because you don't see them check, you know, I've, I've been that female, um, but it's, it's actually way worse because the accidents that I involved myself in weren't because I backed up, it was because I pulled out in front of somebody, which is considerably worse. Um, there's way more damage done and it's also way more obvious that you're just stupid. Um, so yeah, I've done that twice, totaled two cars. Um, so, uh, that's bad when you total two different vehicles for the same exact reason. Only the first time it's like you get clipped, the second time you get T-boned. So it's like, what's the third time going to be? I'm just going to drive off into a ravine or some shit and the car will explode. Like, you know, things like that. Things like that. I worry about things like that. That's why, like, I feel like I have every reason to worry about things like that because of, you know, the direction that my life seems to go. But then again, it's like, well, maybe, maybe nothing can kill me. What if I'm like one of those, um, like superhero people that can't die or, um, you know, like a serial killer or something like, uh, you know, one of those, um, like super villains, you know, like, uh, Michael Myers, you know, he that. Let's see. My mother sent me a text message. <coughs> <coughs> My mom told me to wear a mask. <laughs> oh, shit. She thinks I'm going to do that. There was a lady. There was a lady. She did the right thing. She put her cart in the cart corral. You see, we we do this where we're like in the parking lot and we like watch everybody and we see who puts carts in the cart corral and who doesn't. And we write down the license plate and <laughs> the type of vehicle of anybody that doesn't put their carts in the cart corral. And we go on social media and we figure out where they live and then we kill them. That's what should happen. In the fascist world that I want to live in, that's what should happen. But instead I have to make jokes. No, we do pay attention to that though. We see, we see the good people of the world. It's just simple shit, you know? Just simple shit. Like, take your car to the car crawl so we can be with its little car friends, you know? And then you see these lonely-ass carts that are just by themselves in a parking spot. So not only is it bad for the person that potentially wants to use that parking spot, but it's bad for the cart. You know, if the cart has feelings, and you know we're a woman, so we superimpose feelings on everything and everyone. Even, you know, dead things or inanimate objects. But anyway, this sky is really beautiful. I kind of just want to stay out here and watch the sunset because that's so like me to do that, right? Um, I really wish I had a coffee, but I do have a Starbucks gift card that I would never purchase on my own, let me tell you. <sighs> it's like 
I shouldn't drink coffee right now, but I feel like shit. And coffee is like really bad if you're feeling sicky. If you're feeling sicky poo, the worst thing you can do is to caffeinate. But I'll tell myself because it's coffee, it's good. But that's just not true. And I know it's not true, but I still keep drinking it regardless of whether the things I'm saying about it are true or not. So maybe that means I'm an addict. Okay, so anytime she says something that I don't agree with, I don't respond to that text, but then I distract her with something else. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm so glad that they're at least having an interesting life in the retirement community. I mean, it just seems like they're actually doing stuff. So that's good. Let me tell you, that retirement community is fucking hopping compared to the rest of society. I mean, they're, they're doing way more, like socially. So it's like all these old people that are about to die are doing way more than all these young people that still have their health. I mean, <laughs> somewhat. But it's like they're just pissing it away with technology. I'm sending a text, okay? I'm sending a text. But, um, yeah. Do you guys remember doing this back in the day? I memorized the keypad, so I don't even have to look at it. <sighs> anyway. Look. Fucking damage. I damaged my flip phone. There's no telling what I'll do to smartphone, especially because I hate smartphones with a passion. So I probably like purposely destroy the fuck out of it. So there's like no point in me getting one because I would kill it. Maybe if I threw like holy water on it, I could kill the AI. Is that possible? Well, that that's probably what I would do if I had a smartphone. There's really like no point in me getting one because I think I'm, I'm a little too delusional already. <laughs>